All right, the best way I can describe this movie is like it's the Hunger Games meets Bioshock Infinite. That's actually really accurate. Mortal Engines. So Mortal Engines is a new movie. It's directed by Christian Rivers, but it's written and produced by Peter Jackson. And you know, the poster and trailers for this movie boasted from the filmmakers of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So I was like, all right, you know, let's see what Peter Jackson has to show us this time around. So Mortal Engines takes place like long time in the future, like probably a couple thousand years from now or something. It's a future where cities now move on wheels, which is a really cool concept. I'm like, Damn, like moving cities. I mean, the only one you see in this movie is London, but I'm curious, like what does New York look like? What does Los Angeles look like? And London is run by Hugo Weaving's character, Thaddeus Valentine. Of course, his name is Thaddeus. I mean, can you think of any good guys named Thaddeus? No, they're all bad guys. And you know, he seems like a fair leader to all of London's citizens, but he has like a dark secret, like Comstock in Bioshock Infinite. It's a mobile city like Columbia in Bioshock Infinite. But our main character is Hera Hilmar as Hester Shaw. She's really jaded. She has a dark past. She pairs up with this dude, Tom Natsworthy, who's a common Londoner, and they go on their adventure to take out the bad guys. And I'll be honest, I was hearing some pretty bad reviews about this movie, and so I was like, oh man, I, I don't know. But I'm not gonna lie, I walked out of this movie going, well, that was pretty cool. There, It's not perfect. There are some things that bogged it down for sure, but it's not gonna get my worst rating. I mean, I like Hester Shaw as the main character. She's a tough chick. Like you can tell she's really not messing around. She has to go out there and achieve her goal. Her acting was really good. I haven't seen her in anything else, but I do want to see her get more work. And I like Tom as a character too, but the unfortunate thing is that they have to kind of force a romance between these two characters. Like every time a somewhat romantic scene came up, I just started laughing. It just wasn't working for me. But Tom as a character, he's cool. I don't have to tell you how good Hugo Weaving was as the villain. I mean, it's Hugo Weaving playing a villain. Every time he showed up on screen, I just wanted him to be like, Mr. Anderson. So yeah, Hugo Weaving being good as a villain is not news to anyone. And along Hester and Tom's journey, they run into this outlaw, Anna Fang, who's pretty much like Donnie Yen's character in Rogue One, if I had to compare her to anyone. She's a badass, man. I just wish she came into the movie earlier. You don't really get to meet her until, you know, ways into the movie, but she was awesome. And the whole world, you know, this is what you're hearing about the movie, the visuals and the world, the creativity of this film, it's awesome. I mean, you got cities on wheels. That's a really cool concept, you gotta admit it. And the visual effects and the CG, they were all pretty good for the most part. There were some points where I could notice green screen glow around the characters, but it didn't happen too often. Like only at a couple of points towards the end. But other than that, this movie was great to look at. And I thought the story was good too. I mean, yes, the movie did feel pretty slow at times, but then I remembered that any movie involving Peter Jackson is gonna be a slow burn. There's just no getting away from that. Lord of the Rings is a slow burn. And I love Lord of the Rings, like a lot. And I even like the Hobbit movies. They're not as good as Lord of the Rings, but I still think they're pretty good. My point is, I think Peter Jackson's a really good filmmaker, because he does draw out the story and give you every detail about the world he's presenting to you. And I love movies that do that. And this movie did that, I felt. Now that being said, there were some points where some subplot with some other characters, I, I didn't really care about them. Like secondary characters, like, things that you're like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about them. And the, so when the movie goes back to them, you're like, oh, can we just get back to our main characters, please? It happened a few times. If you see this movie, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. And some of the writing in this movie was pretty freaking cheesy. I'm talking, this is bad dialogue. I don't know what Peter Jackson wrote and what whoever else wrote. Like there were some lines I could tell like, no, Peter Jackson definitely wrote that. Like we're fighting with fire or something like that. It was a cool line delivered by Hugo Weaving. I was like, Nah, Peter Jackson totally wrote that. It was cool, it worked. But sometimes lines like that were delivered in a way that just didn't flow with what was happening in the scene. It felt cheesy. It's a fine line that you gotta balance on and this movie falls off a couple times. The score was really good though. It was written by Junkie XL, AKA Tom Holkenborg. And if you remember my review of The Dark Tower I did last year, he scored that movie as well and I couldn't remember his last name. Now I know what it is, it's Tom Holkenborg. He's Junkie XL. But this score was really epic. It sounded like Howard Shore did it. Very orchestral, very percussion heavy, which makes sense because you have this giant monstrous looking London mobile city. So bang on the drums, the British are coming. It worked for me. So in the end, Mortal Engines, I don't know what to say. I didn't think it was as bad as everyone else thinks. I like the characters, I like the story, I like the world. Some of the writing and subplots did bog it down, so it's not gonna get my best rating. But for Mortal Engines, I will still certainly say, go see this movie while it's in theaters. I'd like to see the story continue, but as far as I know, no sequels are planned. So I don't know if the story will continue or not. So Mortal Engines, have you seen it? Have you read the book? I haven't. What did you think about it? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.